Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I have a stick, but it's a stick that can like fold out. Now, no, this stick is not a bow staff. In fact, by the title of the video, I don't even know why I'm being so general about this. This is my bow. Um, this is the bow that I used in today's video. It's a cool bow. This is the SAS Tactical uh, Bow, I think it is. Tactical Collapsible Bow. Uh, it fits in this bag and it has its own string in there and a tool to unlock this and fold one of these around one of these arms. Um, however, you know, I'm going to show you all of this in just a minute. However, obviously, I wanted to do the intro um, and I'd, I'd show you why I set it up for the part of the video where I'm using the bow and shooting it at a bag of hay. Um, and yeah, that's all I really had to say. I hope we, I, I hope you enjoy this part of the video. Um, yeah, if you're interested in the bow, not sponsored or anything, but if you search for an SAS tactical bow, this is the one that I got. Um, it's not good for first timers, is all I'm gonna say, because it doesn't have like a place to hold the arrows, place to like aim with. It's literally just the bar, right? And then you have to rest the arrow on your fingers, and then you also have to set it up every time. So definitely not for first timers, but I enjoy using it. And this is uh... mm. this is my boner. So yeah, let's get into the main video. Here I am trying to do the original intro to this video, but unfortunately it didn't turn out as well as I had hoped, since the wind was quite a big issue that we didn't really think about, and I was quite quiet like while talking, which was just two issues that didn't really work together. Anyway, here I am undoing the nuts and bolts for the bow that I showed you in the intro. But trust me, we do get into doing some shots with the bow, and in fact, at the end, we have this one thing where we hit the bag every single time. Really impressive for me and Neo, obviously both of us doing it. But anyway, literally all I'm doing is undoing the bolt to flip the top part of the bow around, and then that will mean that the bow has like some resistance when the string is attached to it and like you have the string obviously causing some tension, which is how the arrow fires. I feel like this is probably going to be the most boring part of the video, to be honest. So do you know what? We will skip until we're actually shooting. If you want an entire video about it, you can see it. But anyway, here we are. First shots. I don't know if this was the first shots of the day. I thought we did have like a couple of warm-up shots before then. Uh, I can't quite remember now. But either way, we both did quite well, considering it was our first time near hitting the bag. We had this discussion quite a lot while shooting, and... We both think that because of the fact that I don't have a place to actually hold the arrows, uh, as well as the fact that my uh, string, like my draw string, wasn't quite in the right place, um, and it was my first time using this bow, Neo had a bit of an advantage, but we both did really well. And then this was my shot with Neo's bow, as I said earlier, where we swapped the bows around, and I hit the thing this time, so I think it is definitely this issue where Neo's bow is slightly better for uh, first timers. I can't exactly remember what kind it is, but you can find similar ones, if not the exact same one online, if you are interested in it. Every shot that we hit, I think, like for both me and Neo, if it was a person, obviously not if it was a moving person, because uh, we haven't really practiced with moving targets because it's a little bit awkward to do. And we literally just do it as a hobby. So there's not much point in saying moving things up just yet um but at least every shot that we sh did you know i think would have probably hit a person if they were stood there because it was either just above just below or like slightly to the side but most of the time it was like within a straight line up and down of the bag which was really impressive um and anyway this is i think the shot where both me and neo hit every target shot like every time we pulled the bow back it hit the bag um although i just realized that this isn't it this is me using his bow but again i hit the bag both times um i think yeah i no, i hit it once damn it because i recorded this quite a while ago i've gotten so please don't be mad at me this is the shot though where we both use our own bows and we both hit the bag every shot now my second shot because we had two arrows each, and we, you know, had four shots in total. Um, but my first shot hit, Neo's second shot hit, and then when I go in for this next one, 
I want to cry because I literally missed the bag by the tiniest amount. And you can see it, like I'll sh slow it down and show you because it goes straight for it, hits the handle, but like just bounces off. So we counted it as a hit because it did technically hit the bag. It just didn't go in. So, you know, it, it's up for us crying. Um, and then this is the last shot that we did, um, or at least that I got on camera. We did a couple more after, but not that much. So that is all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and all of that usual stuff. Um, I might do some more videos of this soon. Um, I just need to, like, actually do them. Uh, you know, I don't really go out of pose that much. So hopefully, since it's coming to warmer weather, I can do some more. Because I think it'd be fun, you know, setting up challenges, showing how I progress. Because mm. although I'm not a noob, at using a bow. I've used quite a few bows. I'm still not a professional by any means. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.